the cruiserweights. And both men, as you can see, are just under it. 190 pounds in the old language. Murdoch 188, Daniel Roussel 189. And I have to say, Barry, we've seen Daniel Roussel fight right up to heavyweight here in Knoxbury for for the Victorian title. I've never seen him look in better shape. He does look in beautiful condition. Just that little bit of a, uh, a, a step up for Paul. I and mean, he really shows punches and combinations and moves that he hadn't used before. His last fight was a fairly easy uh, two-round two KO over, over Scott Parker, but the, the fight with Gavin Ryan showed me that Paul Murdoch can step up to that next level, and I think it's going to be a going to be a great cruiserweight championship fight tonight. The in the blue corner, fresh off a second-round KO over heavyweight Scott Parker. Closest points loser to Daniel in Wollongong earlier this year. Gunning for his first Australian title. Ten wins, two losses, one draw, three KOs. Trained by Bob Murdoch from Geelong, Paul Murdoch! From his ten wins, Rouse with four from twelve. So 12 rounds isn't out of the question. And the Australian Cruiserweight title is up for grabs here. Paul Murdoch in the black trunks. Daniel Roussel from New South Wales in the red and gold. That should be a very exciting fight. Roussel, former amateur Australian champion, looks in great shape. Paul Murdoch continues to improve since making his debut in Geelong back in March 1998. And he is looking for revenge after losing a close split points decision back in February to Daniel Roussel on that occasion at the Snake Pit in Wollongong. Both men very well skilled, stylish fighters, Barry. They both are. They both got beautiful left hands, you know, good defences, both very well tutored um, by their respective trainers. Uh, Bobby Murdoch, of course, uh, Paul's father, ex-Australian champion. Um, but, you know, both guys already, you can see the class they've got leading beautifully with the left hand. Nice combination there from Danny Roussel. Looks very sharp, very fit tonight, Danny. Oh, lovely left hook from Paul Murdoch. Lovely short left hook. Now, it's going to be a real classic contest, this. Roussel starting the better, but Murdoch quickly landed the left hand, and that took the wind out of his sails. We've got a case of Roussel, John, is ever the, ever the showman. He's neat, he's tidy. He's been sparring with, with the Australian heavyweight champion, Carly Mann. Ten rounds, he's been sparring quite regularly, and I believe they've had some pretty good spars as they've been going, but Murdoch, ever the workman. Just nothing pretty about him. He's just a hard charger who just works very, very hard. Throwing good, accurate straight punches as well, Barry. Beautiful left, beautiful left hand. I reckon Paul Murdoch's got the, the best left jab in the country at the moment. But, you know, look at those beautiful jabs he was landing. Good, clean jabs, Brad. I think he's got a great jab. He, he just does it naturally. He's a very professional fighter, and he's been well tutored by Bobby. And Bobby fought my old trainer, Stretch Anderson, back on the old TV ringside days, John. And, and uh, when he's been around a long time, so Paul Murdoch has grown up with boxing. No, he's got a good left hand. Terrific left hand. Considering Bob Murdoch when he was a fighter, he's a southpaw, John. He's still going to have a jab, Dave. <laughs> <laughs> and we're going to have a left hand again. Paul just looks like he's been able to settle in a little bit better than, than Daniel at this time. Daniel looks a little nervous, I guess, but uh, it's the same nice in any fight. Man. Any fight that any fighter who's of equal ability, the bloke who's going to win the fight, most likely the bloke who settles down first. A big moment, or well, biggest moment for both men. First Australian title. Exchange left hands on that occasion. Oh, that oh, another body, and that grabbed the attention of Rouse. Still now trying to that protect nice. his rib cage. And another nice left hand. That's what I noticed in Paul's last couple of fights with Gavin Ryan, with Gavin Ryan particularly. His left grip to the body is really, really, you know, come of age. He's, he's jabbing, he, he leads off his jab, rips straight afterwards and, you know, follows up with the, the hooks as well. It's amazing, Barry, both of these boys had terrific fights with Gavin Ryan and, and he's, a, he's a tremendous competitor to Gavin Ryan oh, and, and they both turned the corner after they fought Gavin Ryan. Yeah, yeah, Gavin Ryan's a tough cookie, that's for sure. He certainly knows his way around. I was fortunate enough to be a judge on, on Gavin Ryan with, with Gavin Ryan and Ooh. Daniel Rousel at Lismore in May this year and they fought a terrific fight which was a draw over eight minutes. Uh -huh. Yeah, he's fought all the best, Gavin Ryan. He's been in some real world-class opposition. Daniel's just trying to work his opponent back into the corner but run into another left hand there. Yeah, Murdoch's left hand just winning this fight for him so far. He is, he's, 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 he's getting this round. It's a little bit more on the punches from Murdoch at the moment. Uh. Real classic exhibition this so far. 
Ralph Sell just looking a little puffy around the right eye as well, having taken some punishment from that jab of Paul Murdoch. End of round number two for the Australian Cruiserweight title. Yeah, I'd say that's a 10-9 round of Paul Murdoch. Still fairly even. Both boys are exchanging, you know, good combinations. But, you know, the, the whole fight so far has been fought off the left jab, Brad. Yeah, good, good round for Paul Murdoch again. He's, he, he's obviously just been able to settle him a little better into it, Daniel. Let's see if we can listen in with Dad Bob and what he has for instructions. Instructions there from Bob Murdoch. Here's Paul Murdoch working to the rib cage of Daniel Roussel and arguably the best moment in the fight. Lovely. Yeah, good, good jab there too. Every time he's thrown. Unassuming. One of the theatrics that we saw a little earlier from Karim Nasher. Yeah, he doesn't waste any energy at all. It's all, you know, very good, very good technical stuff. But you know, he's nice and conservative and opens up when he has to. He's very committed, young Paul Murdoch. He's, as I said before, John, there's nothing pretty about him. He's just very, very workmanlike, and he's come here to do a job, and he's doing this job very well. Daniel Wellsell's not giving up. He's certainly trying and, and trying to keep Paul. Oh, beautiful right hand over the top. Of heads during that flurry as well that Daniel Roussel didn't get the best of. Murdoch firing away oh, the left hand the and Roussel answers with an overhand right. Yeah, good comeback by Danny Roussel with nice little short left hook inside there by Paul Murdoch. Very quick reflexes there. In a fight worthy of an Australian title battle. Cruiserweight belt to the winner. And having called the murdoch Rousseau fight back in February. I can tell you that there was a marked improvement in Paul Murdoch since then, without a doubt, Barry. Yep. Oh, you know, I've seen it in his last couple of fights. He really has just stepped up a level in class. Oh, nice. Nice work. And he's caught Daniel Rousseau again here with a big right hand. A little over a minute remaining in round number three, and Murdoch certainly getting on top now if he wasn't beforehand. Murdoch very confident at the moment. Waiting for Daniel Roussel to come forward, looking to pick him off Roussel with a nasty cut around his right eye, it would appear. He's trying to get a close look at it, but yeah. it's above the right eye. And we're going to have to call the doctor in here, you would think, perhaps to have a look at it. No, he's he's happy for them to continue. It's in the eyebrow, I think. Spurred Danny Roussel into some action. It'd be a pity to see a, a classic uh, contest like this. Oh, a lovely nice uppercut. uppercut. Nice uppercut from Paul Murdoch. Paul Murdoch's yeah. his sense his victory, Paul does. Yeah, he's throwing the big ones here. He's starting to, he's just wobbled Daniel there. Well, after Murdoch was on the receiving end in the fourth round here, round number five, he's made it all his own. Starting to manhandle Daniel Roussel as well. Oh, oh nice right hand by oh, Roussel. Beautiful Paul Murdoch. Look. Paul Murdoch was shaken then. Yeah, I think he still is a bit groggy. That was a flush right hand. Nice little uppercut in there for Paul Murdoch. The skills of these two fighters is just incredible. It is. Said. Real good, very well skilled, skilled fighters, these two. Especially for big men, Brad. It's certainly, certainly worthy of an Australian title, isn't it? Undoubtedly. Oh, nice little uppercut and load up with the right hand of Paul Murdoch. He's certainly equal to the task, Daniel Rousselli. He's not going to let Paul Murdoch just walk away with this, is he? No. Dropped his hands momentarily and Murdoch went after oh, him. Nice left hook. Nice. Right. Yeah, lovely short hook in place there for John. The body, the body work, the body language of, of Daniel just tells me he's starting to tire a little bit. Yep. And just that the last, mannerisms of him. That last round I said that you know that it, it took a lot out of him. He put a lot of pressure on Murdoch yeah. and uh, you know it could take its toll on him. But he's you know he's still firing away with both hands well here. Including stages round number five, scheduled for 12 for the Australian Cruiserweight title. Paul Murdoch in the black trunks at the moment, is getting on top of Daniel Roussel. Still a long way to go. Roussel just a few times, but uh, <laughs> it would be the stitches in that position. It's a terrible uh, pity. <laughs> but it really, if, it's, you know, if he's got a good corner, they should be able to control that. That was that beautiful right hand from Danny Roussel. It really did shake Paul Murdoch there for a second. The referee Jim Boland Bacali has it 49-46. Oh, 
Morris. They were using the ring a bit more at the start of this round. Moving around, you know, instead of getting in there as he has been the last few. He really needs to change his game plan just a little bit. He's, he's letting the round slip away from him a little bit now. And if he, oh, what a beautiful oh. left hook. Right hand has got Paul in all sorts right, of Right, lovely right hand hit Paul Murdoch. A very clean knockdown there. And it was evidence in the last round that he could be caught with that right hand. Absolutely. Hurt he got hurt that last round. Just goes to show you how a fight can turn so quickly. Oh, sure. He's in trouble, Paul. In trouble too. here, round number six. Roussel looking to finish it, trying to unload. I'm Paul Murdoch. Roussel looking for his first Australian title is all business. Here in round number six, somewhat against the run of the fight so far. And Murdoch still not steady on his feet. He's no. bleeding profusely from the mouth. He's and hurt. looks a little unsteady. No, he's definitely badly hurt. He's still firing he nice artillery of his own. Oh, the beautiful oh. right hand. Did you see that? Lovely right hand comeback. He is bleeding very heavily from the mouth. He must have had a nasty cut there when he got hit with that right hand. Ralph still right on top of Paul oh. Murdoch here in round number six. He's a very Good tough oh, customer, Murdoch, right but hand. Daniel Rousseau unloading some big bombs. He's on target with that right hand. It's dangerous for Paul Murdoch to be hit with any more of those, I tell you. Danny Rousseau looking very turned. confident at the moment. It certainly looks like the fight, the tide of this fight has turned just that little bit. Daniel can smell victory. He's got Paul in a little bit of trouble here, and Paul just needs to be able to try and change the tide of this fight, Barry. He does. He needs to get away and rest for the rest of his round if he can, to stay away and move. Or He's lost the round. He needs just, oh, he's he's lost stay, round he just needs yeah. to stay out of trouble now. Just forget yep. this round and, and, and continue on. Just stay out of trouble. Final 50 seconds as we approach the halfway stage of the Australian Cruiserweight battle. Murdoch firing back some artillery of his own. He looks a little second-hand at the moment. He does. <laughs> He's still not moving freely, and Daniel Roussel is just regathering himself here and is going to launch another assault. I'll tell you what, I know what I'd be saying in uh, Danny Roussel's corner. Just wait for that right hand over the top. He can be hit with it. Oh, he's get hit with that left hook again. He, yeah. He's just open for that. He's becoming a little bit flat-footed now, and that's the reason that he's standing there and getting hit for that. He's doing his work and then standing there, where before Johnny was doing his work and getting out. He was a little bit fleet of foot. Opportunity now for Roussel. Murdoch drops his hands and Roussel trying to pick him off here right at the end of Very round number six. Daniel Roussel. Yeah. Roussel has turned this fight around. Little big right really in this round at this stage. Oh, oh nice overhand. That right hand, it's looking dangerous, that right hand. He's been there all night with that. He's landed some good ones. He landed a, a very good one at the start of this round for Murdoch. This, fight, this fight's far from over, John. Less than 30 seconds remain, round number seven. This has been a difficult round for our judges to score. This slatter gust coming from Murdoch's nose. Maybe he's carrying a cold into this bout. Looking upstairs there with the left hand, Murdoch. And Roussel is equal to the challenge at the moment. Exchanging very good jabs, both boys. Roussel's found his left hand now. He's biting down hard on his mouth guard. Yeah. Roussel walk into a left hand, but now he backs up Murdoch, who staggered again yeah. with the right hand, and Daniel Roussel comes on strong. Yeah, that right hand's been a winner for Daniel Roussel. Murdoch was doing everything technically correct then. His left lead was going good. He hit him with an overhand right, and he suffered a right hand himself. Solid shots being landed in close as well here. Middle stages of this eighth stanza. We heard Frank Keane just urging Daniel Roussel on his hand. Triples up with a jab, Paul Murdoch. A little right hand in close. Roussel opens up and he backs up Murdoch once more. That's He's it. on unsteady legs. He appears to be in some trouble here. Roussel getting on top of Paul Murdoch. Referee Jim Boland is covered in blood himself at the moment. Both men have been bleeding since early in nice the fight. By Roussel. Yeah, good, good right hand again by Roussel. Murdoch looking a little bit in a little bit of trouble here. John, I said earlier, I think this fight was going to be fought in two halves, and it appears that way that it's happened. Roussel's found a second win. Yep. Found a left hand. He's just starting to sort of get on top of uh, Paul Murdoch now. This is not a lot of aggression coming from Paul Murdoch at the moment. It's all defence as he tries to hold Daniel Roussel at bay. Roussel never been in better shape, and it's showing here as we get inside the last 30 seconds of this eighth round. I tell you, when a fight's even, if you've got great condition, it's a great help, I tell you. Oh, absolutely. Now Roussel oh. again opening up on Murdoch, and he's down here in round number eight for the second time. He's in a lot of trouble. 
A lot of trouble for Murdoch. Referee Jim Bolan with the count. Now Daniel Roussel marches across the ring. He's looking for a finish here against Paul Murdoch. And loaded some big shots. Murdoch on the retreat once more. Right at the end of round number eight. Okay. Murdoch is down again. They stopped the fight. They waved it away. With the right hand. Twenty-seven-year-old Murdoch. Eleventh fight. Trained by his father Bob. Ready to spread him. There's a good jab there. Well, okay, come on. Punch it out. It's really the Murdoch to work in tight, is it? So, with the longer reach, height, stay out of trouble, as he is here. Yeah, just box on the outside. Use his combinations from the outside. Keep moving! Uh, he's doing kind of... Too much video of the way he fought and to try and emulate that, or have you got your own stuff? Um, I'm not trying to emulate... Keep moving! Oh, man, I think he was a great fighter in his day. He, he fought in an era which, you know... You could say they were champions. And hand up, hand up. You know, I like the style, like hands 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 Muhammad hands Ali. People can use their ring, um, you know, box, uh, and make it look like a art. And he when Murdoch is moving like that and boxing well, that's the boys to punch it out, doesn't want him to get locked up. Good Another left. That reach advantage started to tell. It is. Again, he's got to understand. Watch your heads. Watch your heads. Watch your heads. Watch your heads. Because the speed there is. There you go. Here 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 you you know, when I, when I, I like to fight, I like to give the, the people a, a show and give the fans out, a show and make sure Come on. that, um, you know, they see a great spectacle. Yeah, but do you give them a show at the risk of the fight? Uh, the body's wide open. He's got to go straight for the body. Quite a lot of families involved in the fight game over in Australia over the years. Yeah, there has been great families. You have the Sands brothers. Um, Back in the 60s and 70s. Oh, let him go. Let him go. Now break, myself break. and my father. Oh. Now Let's have a look at some of this work from uh, Paul Murdoch. He's been effective in the early rounds and again tonight. Working hard. He's trying to find his way through Virginia's defences. Virginia tries to find his way through the fence. <laughs> When he is at, um, when he has got Virginia at play, he's, he's really working off that jab really nicely. And he's, he works in combination where you can get Virginia um, pedaling backwards. There's his jabs. Corner of Aston. There's a jab, working off that jab. But just stay at arm's length and, and box, which is Murdoch is doing. Good body shot by Murdoch. Mental strength comes right into play. And it's going to be mental that will pull the journey through if he can stop uh, Murdoch here. Well, has he got the punch to put down the big Australian? That's the question as we go into round 12, the last round of this light heavyweight South Pacific Championship bout. Virginia got a big lift from Murdoch. Punch it out. Come on. What he need to do? In his come corner. On. Just telling him, come on. Come on, get busy. Come on, move. Get up there. Score. I hit the puncher. We'll uh, it, do it for Virginia. Is that? The left, left hand, it's more of a left hook. I know he's a southpaw, so it's off a straight right hand from the orthodox. And there it is to the body. He needs to bring it upstairs. Come on. Punch it out, let him go, Paul. Go in the hide in the boxing ring. Come on. So we're going to have to this fight. Very sensitive. 
three shots now. I think he has to really put on the big bag if he's going to win this fight. Actually, uh, no, Only break, 15 break, seconds break. to go now. Fuck. Big bomb, Paul. Finish good. Finish good. Right. Oh, I didn't have the fireworks set, so I'm hoping for expecting. But nevertheless, it's a tough oh. game. Boxing for the South Pacific Light Heavyweight title. And as many of us predicted, it did go the distance. But I suppose Anthony Mundine, you're under no doubts as to who the victor was in that fight. Yeah, he dominated from the start with his jab and left hands, and I really feel that um, he's done enough to, to win tonight. Um, unfortunately for Bugani, um, you know, it's back to the drawing board and see what happens, you know, in his future. Stranger things have happened, though, haven't they? Commentators have uh, gone the wrong way, but I respect your uh, opinion, Anthony Mundane, and we'll await uh, the judges' decision to see if that coincides with yours. Big effort from the uh, young 27-year-old from Geelong and Victoria. I mentioned the scorecards. Pass him on to John Tyler. Any really announcer for tonight? A fairly confident-looking. Paul the Shadow Murdoch. Uh, the I get the sense you feel a bit robbed there. Oh, look, I think, uh, you know, he, he did a bit more work, but, geez, how much of it was landing, you know? It's, there's scoring parts of the body, not the shoulders and the side of the head and everywhere else. Look at me, I'm not even, you know? Mate, was this a late call-up for you? No, no, no. Oh, sort of. No, no, not really. I was prepared. I'm good as gold, but I'm just a bit bewildered how you can get decision. So, I mean, the points, maybe if it's 115, 116, Something like that each way, but then when you got a 17 and a 12, then a 117 and another 117, 12, someone's not watching things properly. <laughs> mate, I, I get the, mate, I get the, come here, come here, come here. I get, the, I get the feeling that the crowd's right behind you tonight. You, you had a, a good, plenty of support. Yeah, I appreciate it, but you know, you, you give it in there and look what happens. Mate, well done. Yeah, um, obviously disappointed. Paul Murdoch, I really thought that he had the fight and did enough to win. How do you see it, Dar? 